What is going on fellow web developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video I want to talk to you about a new product BenQ have sent over to me called the Screen Bar and my experiences with working on a computer screen and how the Screen Bar can actually help me and help you with eye strain and eye relief and make your working day, day in and day out coding, programming, whatever you do on your computer life 10 times easier. So guys, without further ado, let's talk about that now. Since I was a little boy, I used to sit about two inches close to my screen, causing me serious eye damage and hence the glasses and why my eyes are so poor now. And since then, I've always been on computers. I've always worked on computers. I've always played video games on computers. I've always watched TV. I, I spend pretty much 80% of my time on a computer screen. So from the morning to the night time, I'm on a computer doing something. Uh, it's not exactly great for my health, it's not great for my eyes, and it has never really been much. So the thing is, it's such the, it's the small details that really matter in these situations. I could have easily prevented my eyes from getting worse when I was younger by doing a few simple steps. A few things I could have done is sat a bit further away from my computer screen. Um, I could have decided to take regular breaks, look off into the distance and decide to take, you know, stare at something in the distance to refocus my eyes to help with my eye strain. Uh, regular breaks, taking trips around the house or just staying away from a screen for a couple of minutes every so often. Um, drinking the right fluids, eating the right food. But one of the most important, and it seems like such a small detail, but adding up all these small details into one creates one big problem if you do not you know if you don't take them all into account you'll give yourself one big problem and that is eye strain eye problems and you'll end up needing glasses as powerful as mine which pretty much helped me see into the future every little detail from taking regular breaks drinking and eating the right things and even the lighting in the room really add up to big consequences if you don't follow them so lighting in the room is the one of the most important things when it comes to working on computers all day you don't want to have glare on your screen because that's going to give you feedback to your eyes which is not going to be so nice it's going to cause more eye strain it's going to make concentrating harder so gl screen glare is a no-go and that's where the screen bar really excels in and we'll talk more about that soon so basically all i'm saying is there's a few things you need to follow and doing these small steps really do help produce uh, a better working environment for you when you work on computers so i want to talk about the screen bar and how it's improved my my literally my working life how much easier it is with less strain on my eyes to now work and code more up for longer and have less consequences because of that so let me show you a small clip of me unboxing this, which I got last week, which has been absolutely awesome. And then me showing you it set up on top of my monitor and how cool it looks as well. So let's run that clip.
So as you guys could see from that video, that was really awesome. There's some, it, the packaging was amazing. It comes so well packaged. It comes with a really awesome patterned clamp, um, which you may have seen. And when you hook it onto your, uh, your light, you plug it in, you just balance it on screens and it's so universal. I've tried on four or five different monitors and they all fit perfectly. I'm yet to find a monitor it does not fit on. So basically all it is, is a simple like hook mechanism. So it has like a, a little a catch. You stick it on your monitor and it's got a counterweight on the other side that basically pulls it, hooks it on and it's so sturdy. I can wobble my screen and everything and nothing will happen. Now there's a Dell monitor. I've tried it on an Asus monitor or an Acer monitor, sorry. Sorry. Um, and I also tried it on a couple of TVs as well just to test it and how well it hooks on. And every single time it has flawlessly stuck onto it perfectly. So if you're from if you're playing video games on your PlayStation on a TV or even just using it for your day-to-day -day coding or working, it works really well and it just hooks on. Now that's just one of the features. Enough of few features. There's so many different features of this thing. You may have seen in the video there was a few buttons on top. So it has four buttons on top. Power on, um, temperature and brightness and also an auto dimming feature. So firstly, you can change the settings. You can change it to be brighter. You can bring it to dimmer to match your environment. Or you can turn up the temperature if you're feeling it's a bit, you know, cool feeling in it or you want a bit more warmer. My screen just went off. Um, and also there's also the auto dimming feature. Now the auto dimming feature is amazing. It basically takes the environment lighting. So for example, my ring lights, my LEDs, my, uh, and my main light, and it will dim and change the temperature according to how this room is currently, well, how the lighting is currently in this room, making it better for me and making it easier for me to work without having to change settings. Let's say if it gets dark, I wanna turn my light off, this light will adjust and make it a lot easier. So you don't have to keep faffing around with it, it'll automatically fit your lighting environment to help you the best way it can. Now, another awesome feature of this is the actual, so compared to a, let's compare it to a standing lamp. So if you was to put a standing lamp on your desk, not only does it take up more desk room, whereas the screen bar that just sits on top of your monitor, this actually basically has its way it sends light. So this will send light directly down and outwards, whereas a normal bulb light will, desk light will, lamp will actually light up a whole area, it'll go off in all directions, it'll try and light up as much as it can, which can cause glare on your screen again, which isn't great. Now how this one works, the screen bar, is it fires a light straight down and outwards over your desk. So you don't actually, ne the light will never actually hit your monitor, which means you won't get any glare, it less strain on your eyes, and it has been such a help for me, because that is one of the main features that when a light hits your screen and it really hurts your eyes, I always struggle. When I used to sit in my upper office and I had a, a window behind me, the light used to hit my screen and it used to really strain my eyes. When, whereas now with this light bar, the light is completely off and it actually helps screen glare from a thing. So when I've got my light here, my, my ring light, the light is hitting my screen right now, but I can still cannot see a glare because the other light is pretty much blocking it. And I don't know how to, I don't know the science behind it, but I still have no glare which is absolutely amazing, which makes this equipment even more valuable. Now, I do want to talk about a couple of negative things. Well, one negative thing, that's all I have. I've, I've tried to find some negative things to talk about, so I had some controversy in this. And the only thing I could say is with the screen bar, the buttons on top, although they are really nice, I find that I don't... I find touching the top of this to be very annoying. Like a couple of times, as you can see there, the auto dimming feature is really nice. I could turn the brightness up and down, which is nice, but sometimes it's just a bit hard. There you go. So turn it off. It takes a few, I don't know if it's supposed to, but it takes a few tries to get it to turn off. Um, so it's not as intuitive as far as the light, but otherwise that is the only thing I could find with this screen bar. Otherwise it is so flawless and works perfectly. I just wish the buttons were a bit more, maybe on the front, just because touch, because I don't want to stand up to look where I'm touching. I don't know, maybe it's just I'm really bad at aiming and my hands are just not as good. But otherwise, this is absolutely flawless and amazing. Now, I actually have been sent a second screen bar plus that I want to review in another video that actually solves this exact issue that I have with the screen bar one. Um, and the screen bar plus actually gives you a secondary controller, which I'll talk about in a different video. Uh, but this one is absolutely awesome, so it works amazingly, and the way it lights up my desk is absolutely amazing. If I'm doing writing or text, 
if I'm doing illustrations or anything like that, or even writing down a plan, I no longer need to turn on my big light that strains my eyes. I can just go straight to my desk and do it here now with this light without taking up any more space on my desk. So guys, this light I think is £89 or $89. Um, you can actually pick it up. There's a link in the description. So don't forget to go check that out, guys. It's absolutely awesome. I highly recommend it. And I want to show off a couple more products for you in the future. So if you do like these product reviews of me showing off uh, a different product, then let me know because I'll talk about more products that could help you in the future with dim things. We could talk about armrests. We could talk about your chair. Tell me what you want to see in the future. Tell some cool people, you know, some big business, what things you think would be awesome to be featured on this channel. Let them know, see if they can get some stuff sent over to be reviewed. And also, um, when you're coding, guys, don't forget to have the right lighting. So thank you all for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace out.